Hello friends and a welcome to a lecture on numerical methods. Today we will look into how to find numerical solution to ordinary differential equations using Runge Kutta's second order and fourth order method. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. So let's have a recap of the Euler's method and uh, uh, you can find the card for the Euler's method or the reference for the Euler's method here on the top. The card will reflect here. So, but let's take a re brief recap anyways. Uh, a differential equation of the form dy by dx is equal to fx. You can have, you can even have it as dy by dx is equal to fxy. So, this is a differential equation. This is a first order differential equation. Now, this first order differential equation the dy by dx can be written as delta y by delta x for a very small step in x or a very small difference in x. Which of course translates to y x plus delta x minus y x is equal to delta x fx. Or if the step size that is the difference in x is kept constant, it is kept at h for every subsequent calculation. Then we have yx plus h is equal to yx plus h into fx. If we know the initial values of the function that results from solving the differential equations. Now those values, the initial starting values are x0 and y0. Then we can write yx0 plus h is equal to y0 plus h into fx0. Now, for any intermediate value of x, let us say xi, we can write yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus h f xi. Now, this is the Euler's explicit method. Now, the second order and the fourth order Runge Kutta methods are also known as modified Euler's method because they more or less use the idea or the algorithm of Euler's method and only make modifications in that to get achieve a better accuracy. So let's have a look at it. So what is the second order method? In the second order method, we first calculate k0, which is equal to h into f of x, y, right? So at y, so if the function is of x and y, we can write it as h into f of x into y. Now, then we calculate k1, which is equal to h into f x plus h by 2 y plus k0 by 2. So, we calculate k1 this way and then we get the y i plus 1. That is the next subsequent value of y as equal to y i plus k1. So, this is the way we have the second order Runge Kutta method and in the fourth order Runge Kutta method, we have first we calculate k0, then we calculate k1 as shown where k1 is going to be f x h by 2 y k0 by 2, k2 is going to be h into f x h by 2 y k1 by 2. And k3 will be h f into f x plus h y plus k2. And then we take the weighted mean of these k's and we add it to yi to get the next subsequent iteration of yi plus 1. Now all this can be understood by taking up an example. So let's go up and take the example. And the spreadsheet for the calculation is on your screen now. The problem that we have is dy by dx is equal to 2xy. This is the differential equation. At an initial value of 0, at x0 is equal to 0, the value of y is 1. That is y0 is 1. Now we have to find the value of y, that is the function, at x is equal to 1.3. Now for reference, I have put the formulas for k0, k1 and the estimate of y for the second order Runge Kutta method, I take a step size of 0 0.01. 
So initially x is 0 and y is 1. So we enter that and y calc of course would be 1. Now the first estimate of x is going to be nothing but the last estimate plus the step size and we proceed down to calculate k0. So k0 is going to be step size multiplied by 2 x and y and k1 is going to be equal to step size to in brackets so there we are <laughs> Let's go into the brackets. Yes, to start another bracket. Then we go into the bracket. It's going to be x plus h divided by 2 multiplied by y plus k0 divided by 2 and the y estimated is going to be the previous y plus k1 so that's it and the calculated value of the function is going to be exponential this the whole square And there we are. Now let's drag these cells and find the value of the function at 1.3. Okay, we'll have to drag it further. And so this is what we have. Now at 1.3, as we can see, the estimates are very, very close to the calculated values. Now, that's the beauty of Range Kutta second order method. It gives a better accuracy. Now, I would advise everybody to use the Euler's method and check what is the accuracy you get with Euler's method. Is it better than Range Kutta's method or is it as good as Range Kutta's method? But this, because this is a modified Euler's method. But the accuracy seems to be better. And now let's reduce the step size and see what is the effect it has on the accuracy of the method. So we take the step size as 0.1 now. And after taking the step size of 0.1, we still see that the relative error is one point five one five percent and if we take a step size which is smaller that is zero point zero one we get the relative error in terms of percentage as so let's drag this and take it to the end That's good enough, 0.017%. That's the error we are getting. Now let's take up the same problem for with Range Kutta fourth order method. Now in the fourth order method here, we have the same equation dy by dx is equal to 2xy and I have put the formulas for k0, k1, k2 and k3. And the first estimate for x is going to be nothing but the old value of x plus the step size. The value of k0 is going to be nothing but the step size. 
multiply by 2 into the old values of x and y. The value of k1 is going to be the step size multiplied by 2 into x, the old value of x, plus step size divided by 2 and the old value of y plus k1 by 2. Sorry, that's k0 by 2. Okay. Now we go to k2. So for k2, it is going to be the step size multiplied by 2 into the value of x plus h by 2 and the value of k1 that is y first here then k1 by 2. So that's going to be d18 divided by 2. Okay and let's check the value of k3 now. Now the value of k3 is obviously going to be the step size multiplied by 2 into x plus h into y plus k3. So there we are. And the estimated value of y is going to be nothing but the old y this one g17 plus one sixth k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. So now let's drag and drop and see what do we get. So for 1.3 that is yes let's delete all these values now. And as we see here for 1.3, we are fairly close. The relative error, if you go to see, is relative percentage error is 100 multiplied by calculated. So let's do that once again calculated minus estimated divided by calculated and as you can see that the error is really very very low it's 2.117 into 10 raised to minus 7 percent so as you can see the fourth order method is much better than the second order method. The fourth order method gives you a better estimate in accuracy. Better accuracies in estimation. So if we reduce the step size in the fourth order method, what is going to be the effect? Let's have a look now. Let's reduce it. So if we reduce it, we will find 1.3 here. And even with a reduced step size, what do we find? that the relative percentage in error is not very great it is 0 0.00187 so it's no secret that the fourth order method is a better method than the second order method and this is the most preferred method which is used uh, in programming by programmers and by scientists to estimate the value of differential equations. So that was all guys about the Range Kuta second order method and the fourth order method. Do like and subscribe my channel and keep watching. I will also put up Python programs for these methods so that you can use them and learn from them. So goodbye, take care, have a great day.